This demonstration is going to show you how to make this pendant and earring set. Um, the design is, is, is loosely based on a leaf design that I saw and I just thought it looked beautiful with the sterling silver and the pearls. And the pearls are just gorgeous. They're delicious. So um, to show you how to make um, this design, um, we're going to start. So I'm going to move this out of the way and move down to the board. Right, okay. So now we're in position. What we're going to do is we're going to use a length of the 0.6. And I'm going to work from the reel because I don't want to... Um, cut off any necessary lengths, unnecessary lengths of um, of the wire. Um, so what I do is work from the reel and I'm going to use a mandrel which is actually a crochet hook and for the earrings in the original design I used a 5.5 millimeter. Um, for the pendant I used a 6.5 millimeter. So it gives you a slight variation in um, in the design which is great for balance when you come to thinking about uh, pendants and matching earrings. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave about an inch at this point or thereabouts, just as, as long as you've got enough to wrap around, um, you know, leave, leave as much or as little as you need there. Okay, so we're going to wrap around once there and that just helps me to secure that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to wrap around four more times so we've got two three four and five so we've got five wraps around there which uh, is the five sort of petals of the leaf so we've got five wraps at the front and we've got our crossover section at at the back just there okay so as you can see we've got sort of like a spring design there so what we're going to do is we're going to pop that just in between our fingers there and just stretch them out so you see they start to separate okay so for the first one what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold everything and pull that wire there so you start to, to get that little leaf shape there the second one I'm going to hold the leaf I've just created and the one next to it and I'm going to pull that wire so you see we've got two leaf sections there and there so I'm going to do the same to the others as you go moving along, hold the one either side. There. So the one in the middle, I'm just going to shape that up a little bit more because I want that slightly, slightly larger. So there we go. So now we've got our section of five um, coils, but they're also in that sort of leaf shape um, design. Okay. So now at this stage we need to determine how much we want to cut off at this side of the wire. Now obviously it depends on um, how you're going to actually make the earrings. If you're going to make the earrings and add them to a shepherd's hook, you just need to leave enough here to make a wrapped loop. If you're going to um, make a pair of earrings where the earring finding is actually incorporated or is actually made from the same piece of wire, you'll need to leave enough here to create this shepherd hook shape. Okay, and I'll show you how to do both. Right, so now what we need to do is cut off. And for this this one, I'm going to use a, um, a wrapped loop and a shepherd hook. So I'm literally just going to cut off um, enough there to do that. Okay, so now we've got our five little sections and we can start shaping that. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to hold the middle one and the one next to it and I'm just going to angle those up. So we start, not, not too sharply, so we start to create a V-shape. See we've got that little V-shape just there. Okay, and I'm going to move around to the next one. Just start to make that shape that round as well. So we start to create that, that sort of shape that we want. Now at this stage we can we can change things around, we can move things, it's quite fluid. So we can do this. And then I'm going to bring them together in the shape that we, we want. Now just make sure at this point that everything is balanced. So you, your top two leaves are roughly the same and your bottom two, okay? That one is slightly pointing down, so I'm just going to 
manipulate that round and lift that up it means I'll need to bring the top one in a little bit more to there okay right so when you're happy with the with the um, shape that you've got we're going to pop that in just into that position now you have to excuse my fingers but we need to really hold everything in place so you can see I'm holding everything there quite tightly all I'm leaving exposed is the wire that I've got here that I'm going to wrap around and the wire that we're going to wrap around okay so I'm going to wrap that around just so it's easy for you to see I'm going to use my um, pliers and we're going to bring that around so that's one and two okay so then bring it around the back because we'll finish off at the back there now you see that's slightly off to one side but that's not a problem so what we need to do is just pop in some pliers and straighten straighten that up there we go so that's nice and nice and straight now okay so I'm going to turn that over and we're going to cut off the excess and that's the excess is coming off at the back of the um, of the pendant or earring finding whichever you want so we just need to just squish that down a little bit okay so now at this point you can still shape things still shape things so these I can bring these together a little bit more and those ones over there but that's our basic basic shape now if you want to that's perfectly fine as it is because it's an earring so it's not going to take a lot of weight but if you want to you could bring in a steel block and on the reverse of your piece pop each of the pendant the petals down on the edge of the block and light I won't hammer it because it, it'd be quite loud just slightly hammer those I'll just do it very very gently just round those edges and again pop that on that edge and do, just do that on, on all five petals and you'll find that that makes um, a real difference when you actually feel the wire to the strength of the wire okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop on a beautiful pearl and these pearls are gorgeous and then we're going to do a wrapped loop so at this point we're just going to pop in round those pliers quite close to the tip because we don't need a large loop and make that angle just there pop our pliers back in and bring that around so we've got that sort of hook almost a tiny shepherd hook shape there okay so then I'm going to just bring that around that way so we've got our loop there and now what I like to do is hold that loop in my pliers okay I'm going to just turn that over just so it's easier for me to work with and then use a second pair of pliers especially if you're using you're using a short tail of wire and obviously with the sterling silver we want to sort of um, make the most of all of it okay so what we're going to do is we just continue that round and then what you can do is just chase that around to make that nice and around there okay so we're going to cut that off at that point we're just going to square everything back off and you would tidy tidy this up you'd spend some time tidying that up so that's nice and neat so that's our, our little find in there okay so i'll pop that down so all you would need to do in this case is pop it onto a shepherd hook and close okay if you've left um, a longer section as I've done here to, to incorporate um, your shepherd hook into that pop on your pearl when you get to this stage bend the wire forward take some uh, bail making pliers pop those in roll that down and just make that shape kick that out and again you can just slightly hammer that edge of that edge of that shepherd hook there just to give it plenty just to give it some strength and a little bit of spring so you know that that's fine so that means that you've got um, a, 
your beautiful detail, your pearl and your shepherd's hook. And that's how you make that design. <laughs>